Hey team, uh, listen, I've had an issue with the drone being restricted to 50 meters. And I know other people have as well. And I think that I've narrowed it down to this geo um, lock thing. So what you have to do here uh, in order to, I think, defeat this or to fix it is you go to the settings button uh, which is those three dots in the upper right corner and um, you go into safety you know the tab at the very top and then you see where it says unlock the geo zone now what you there's two tabs in there and um, if you have go away uh, if if <laughs> if you have uh, the license to, to fly in the area um, it, it should work so but it has to be you have to renew it every 24 hours so if you look at the unlocking licenses you see the valid time if it's not valid it runs out of the 24 hours what happens then is it sticks you. That's what I think. So because I did, I landed it and uh, I imported the updated license. You have to go through the checklist, and then it worked without a problem. So that's what I think. So anyway, let's just check and see. I mean, because I was having every single time I launched stuck at the 50 meters. So let's. Um, Let's go ahead and just see. I mean, I, I did it. Now, it's not even showing Pompano Airport on here because I have it unlocked, and the Boca one isn't close enough to be an issue. Um, but it's a bit breezy today. Wow, it's breezy as heck. Man, Air 2 is handling it like a champ, though. All right, let's get on out of here. Dang. Air 2's handling it. We got some big-time gusts going, 20-mile-an-hour gusts. Um, so, I mean, we're already 50 meters away. It definitely, uh, I mean, it's, it's definitely helped. So... I, I mean, if you're getting stuck on that, you know, and it's it's limiting you to the uh, 50 meters, um, do that. Check that safety area tab and make sure you have an updated license for the area you're in. Um, and and then hit the import button. And it did seem to work. I mean, as you can see, I'm flying. I mean, I've actually been flying now the last couple of days. And I tried to recreate the problem, and I think I have to let it expire, maybe, and then try it and see if I can recreate the problem. Um, let me. It's a bit blustery, so I'm gonna have to be very uh, smooth with my landing here. Whoa! Sorry, I've been climbing around with the. Okay. So let's be real careful here. We definitely do not want to run into a tree. Uh, as you know, the Air 2 does not have side sensors or sensors above it. So if you're strafing, you're not protected. And so we're coming in good. The wind has eased up a little bit from my landing, which is nice. Uh, the breeze is picking up right now. Sorry, right. this Air 2 handles everything. Short of a hurricane. Okay, let's land. And again, I'll show you. Okay, we're clear. Okay, so again, I'm going to show you um, 
so it's the three buttons in the upper right now I'm using the controller as you can see uh, here uh, the DJI controller so but it's the fly app on the controller and and all I did like once you take off you get those uh, the little radio buttons that uh, asks you you know are you clear to fly in that area and so forth so then I hit the three buttons and you know you can go between the tabs here uh, but it's in the safety tab and you scroll down so scroll down in the safety tab to unlock geo zone and and then it shows the license so this is the Pompano Beach Air, Airport uh, and by the way I'm not in a, a red zone I'm just in a, a aircraft flight zone meaning I don't go above 150 meters which I don't do so and then you hit the import to aircraft button if it's not up to date now you see mine is valid on here it's valid and it gives you the date so if it's not if it says invalid uh, then you got to import a valid one which is a check so that made it work for me and if you go to another area with one of these uh, restrictions or something like that uh, then uh, you probably have to do it again now some people have said that um, you know it's a profile thing uh, and I fooled with that you know uh, doing the profile and fiddling with it and that I don't know if that helps because it, it kept doing it this here with the geo unlock um, first it, it, it worked and it's worked ever since so I believe that this is more of a permanent fix it's just that if you go somewhere and you're in a restricted area and you get the the stuff popping up you're gonna have to import that license to the aircraft uh, so that it gives you permission to fly in that particular area